Hey, to everybody that's celebration. Right? So we talked about how to celebrate Diwali in various states and you know your celebration of Diwali in your own home is always different than the neighbors, right? From your brothers, from your sisters. Why? Because you like being different, isn't it? So my question to all of you is, how do you celebrate Diwali in Victoria's kids? Have we thought about it? Let's first invite our great warriors who took a lot of courage to come down oh, and took time out to dress up and relive the ancient epic of the Ramayana. Thank you. Please come. I don't know what the book was on. Metaphysical meditation. <laughs> so, how do we celebrate in Victoria's kids? In Victoria's kids, what we try to do it, maybe we should do it every day. Now we do it twice a week, sometimes once a week, is to talk to each other so that you can go ahead and give this fragrance, give this message give these words of inspiration, motivation to the children. For what? Towards developing human excellence. At Victoria's Kids we celebrate by discovering that secret power from within. What is Diwali? Diwali, as you know, you've heard a lot of times, is the row of light. Where is this row of light? Symbolically, you heard from all the states, how do we do it? But the true rule of light, as per Vedanta, is within you. And you enlighten those seven lights which is in your spine. And that spine is called the Arjuna's Gandhiv, Gandiva Dhanush, with which you can throw any weapon, Brahmastra, destroy the whole world. That's the power between you and me, in our own spine which you and I don't know about it, we've forgotten. So, when you relight those through your special efforts, those are the efforts which is the celebration. That is what you're doing in schooling, teaching and learning, is to awaken that humanity. I don't know how many of you noticed the two great warrior of the humanity, Swami Vivekananda, Paramahansa Yogananda. There's a simple message there. Let's say the message of the Swami Vivekananda this time is <coughs> it's the hatred which constricts your mind, your heart. But it's the love which expands. And he's asking, do you love your friend? Do you love your neighbor? Do you love everyone? And Paramahansa Yogananda is saying, <coughs> nothing but the very best. Have you noticed these are the things that we try to teach our children? Discover that very best from within you. Where is it? Now you hear a lot about India and Vedanta and Yoga. You hear a lot about Yoga. What exactly is this? Let me give you another angle in the Vedantic angle, which you and I may be not aware of. I wasn't, till I came to know. The true meaning of yoga is, honestly, I had never read, heard, till the time I discovered in Vedanta, is the concentration. So when you learn to concentrate, you do, which is yoga's second meaning, is called union. Yoke, the why, it brings out. What are you uniting with the concentration? You are uniting your own supreme power from within you. You're uniting and going beyond the mind to the consciousness. So how do we celebrate over here? 
You tell the children, tell the people, tell amongst you and your own self. Don't look at fault of others. Very simple message. Look at the wealth of people. What's good in them? What happens with the Diwali celebration like this? When you look at good, the strength of people, you know what it does? It reawakens the strength and the goodness in you. Have you noticed? A baby is full of only bliss and goodness. So the moment you pick up a baby, have you noticed what you do? You smile. So the moment you pick up good things, you are good. So who is Rama? And who is Ravana? Are you understanding? So that the Pavali is the row of light through which you are now discovering the goodness. What is the way? Vedanta is talking about two simple ways. One is Jnana Yoga and the other is Bhakti Yoga. Now the Raja Yoga and Karma Yoga, they automatically fall in part of these two. What are these two? Bhakti Yoga, you know, you keep praying Allah, Lord, Jesus, Jesus, or God, and Hail Mary, or Krishna, Krishna, or Lakshmi, Lakshmi, whatever way. You're taking repetition, names, and loving God. What's the problem in that? There's a big problem. And that's why there is so much of warfare in the world today about religion. You know, the maximum bloodshed has occurred in this world because of this fight on war on religion. What's the biggest problem? Everybody, including the children, will ask you, does really God exist? That's the biggest problem. If that exists, why can't I see? Where is God? So what is it? The problem is doubt. And Patanjali in his Yoga Sutra is number eight problems are there. In reaching victorious kids' way of celebration, Diwali, is called human excellence. You tell them that power is inside of you. Remember the apple and the seed story you see everywhere? So how many apples are there in one seed? That one seed is you. You can become anything. Discover that secret power from within. So, in the bhaktiyo, they automatically say, okay, you attach karma yo. What do they do? work for other people. Shada ma'am said so something beautifully. Go and make one child very happy. You all will be surprised. Shada ma'am gets whatever money she gets, a little bit for her work. She doesn't keep a rupee for herself. She is going out tomorrow, may I tell them? To have party with those poor girls who she is celebrating. One of them has stood first in B8 and she is taking care of their education for the last 15 years. Everybody. There are quite a few. She thought she thought that I didn't know, but I never told her that I knew. She, those children were studying in this school and she was quietly paying their fees. So like that, it's an example not because Sharada is Sharada, but you and I can do that. Take up something. One, you know, I was talking to my great aunt. She's about 87 years old, 88 now. I was talking to her yesterday and she was very delighted to hear my voice. And after that, they were going to Ramakrishna Mission on the way. So she told, the other aunt's daughter who was accompanying her to tell me she's very fond of us. So the other girl is telling me, do you know what great aunt has done? She has called five girls, 87 year old, she's alone, no maid servant, no husband, no kids. Five girls, 87 year old, have cooked in her own aloo puri and given it to five girls and given them some 10 or 20 rupees I didn't ask how much is the denomination and told them before you go say Jai Matadi then she, was, she said I tell him I was feeling so happy so I was telling why do you keep saying enough is enough now I should go 
keep doing like this. So can you and I take up that lesson? But the doubt is there with the bhakti yoga. Does God really exist? So, what is the other one? Is the Jnana Yoga. Jnana Yoga is, you know what? It's very simple. You know why? Because Jnana Yoga should tell you about who am I? All you have to do is discover who am I? You have no doubt that you exist. That your body is there. So one big problem is over. That doubt is not there in Jnana Yoga. So discover who you are. And you know what in Dipavali is that. You have a very nice day. Keep smiling. Thank you.